Hello and welcome everybody. What I got for you today, we are doing a dynasty mode here on NCAA 14 revamped. We are using J Kit sliders. This per first part of the video, we're gonna take a look at the at the team. We're gonna go through our depth chart. We're gonna redshirt some of our players and get our scouting all done. We started this video as a defensive coordinator for Nevada. They gave us a one year prove it deal. Um, we'll see how good we can do with that at the end of this year, and maybe we stay, maybe we go somewhere else. But we're just going to go through the through the red shirt here, and we're going to look at kind of the team and the depth of the team and everything, and then we're going to play our first game, which I believe is against UCLA. Pretty good game there. Um, I'm not going to do commentary through that game. We're going to do commentary through the first portion of this video and then it's just gonna kind of be gameplay from there so you guys can enjoy it let me know if you like this video if you want to see more of these just drop a like comments are appreciated please sub to the channel if you're here and want to see more content like this um, I typically stream this is gonna be a different type of video for me because you're not gonna see me uh, and in most of these I really want to focus on the gameplay aspect and really just let you guys kind of see how that goes um i am using j kits realism sliders and this is college football revamped so ncaa 14 college football revamped and we're also using the espn um the espn scoreboard on that as well so you're seeing here i'm kind of going through the team a little bit um setting everything up on the board i always thought this was weird um, that I do the scouting as a defensive coordinator. I um, think maybe that they would allow me to have some input or something, but I don't think I would be in charge of scouting. But uh, I don't go too, too in-depth here on the scouting. I basically just go through positions of need and find players that are interested in coming to this school, and I put them there and kind of get them on the board and put some points in them. So... We'll see how that goes. This is a this is a tough this is a tough school to come to. It's a it's a one star school. The defense isn't. I mean it's bad. It's it's bad, but it's not the worst, you know. So it's not the it's not the worst by any means. Uh, I did a rebuild with the Lobos and they had the worst roster I've seen by far. Our offense on this is actually really really bad. Um, I'm actually getting ready to go through uh, kind of in depth on the depth chart and kind of move a few people around. Not really much movement is on the offense, but we do move some players around on defense. Uh, I personally prefer to run a 3-4. I like to have linebackers on the field. Um, uh, and you may see later in the season, uh, if we're not fast enough and we're not you know, making enough plays in the passing, we might switch it up to a nickel. We might go to a dime sometimes, depending on, you know, situation. Um, we may even take, like, a safety and put them in at that middle linebacker spot just to utilize the speed that they have uh, on that part of the field. So it's kind of a dime, kind of a fake nickel, something like that. But you can see here we're just going through the depth chart. Positions of need on this team. There was some defense. Uh, looked like free safety, quarterback, middle linebacker. I know that they wanted a punter. Um, I think quarterback was position of need. And there was a few other ones that were kind of positions of need. Um, like I said, I, I didn't do too, too much. To uh, I've been looking at a bunch of different videos uh, and some forums and stuff that are talking about a few different ways to kind of make this team or the gameplay, the dynasty mode, a little more realistic. Um, some of them say not to do any scouting at all. Um, now, I don't know if that means to put people on your board or not. I don't know if people will still come and play for your school or sign or you only get walk-ons if you don't scout. I'm unsure how some of that works. If anybody does know a little bit more or has any... Um, recommendations or suggestions that could make things a little bit easier uh please go ahead and feel free to let me know what those are i know this is uh might seem like filler to a lot of people but a lot of people really really like the going in depth uh for a lot of people really like the in-depth 
of the scouting and things like that. So, you know, to each to each their own. Um, not everybody likes the scouting. Not everybody likes the team building. A lot of people like the team, the uh, gameplay. Um, I, I, I'm experimenting right now, you know? I know some people like commentary during the game. Some people like face cam. Some people want to see the excitement. Um, everybody's different and everybody wants something different. So right now, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this going forward where I'm gonna do this right now where you're not gonna see me and you're not gonna hear me during the games. We probably talk before games, talk about the week, uh, what we expect that week, maybe go into a breakdown of the opponent and the team. I don't know if Nevada is the team long term, but it's certainly where we're at right now, right? So we're definitely gonna make the, we're gonna try to make the most of where we're at and maybe turn that into a long-term contract here at Nevada. Maybe turns into a head coaching job. Um, ideally, we would want a head coach somewhere. If we can do well enough in year one as a DC, we could get a head coaching job at a smaller school and try to take that over. Um, I'm not taking anything off the board right now. I'm not afraid to move around. Um, I'm really just focused on the journey at this point. I want to be a head coach. Um, I'd like to take over a smaller school and raise their prestige, make them better. Um, I, I don't know. We'll have to see. I may even... I've thought, I've thought about doing it this way too where maybe we're not so hands-on where we build our roster and then, um, you know... We can build our roster. You'll see here, this is preseason. So we are the Nevada Wolf Pack. We're gonna take a look at the depth chart here. We got the senior Nate Cox, and then we have a sophomore Illingworth underneath him. And I think we uh, we go with Shane Illingworth just because he's a little bit younger. They're really comparable. Um, I didn't change too much here. I liked having uh, Tua at the start at halfback just because he has the speed advantage and speed makes a big difference for me in this game. We do move some of the offensive linemen around here. They had some people starting where maybe they shouldn't have been. Um, maybe a, an auto reorder would have been the way to go here, but we'll, we'll, eh, we'll see. Um, you'll see here, seeing as it's year one, um, and this may change going forward. Our, our offense is really bad, so our defense is going to have to carry the weight and the load of the team. Um, and that's kind of what we expected. That was kind of the challenge that we were, were taking on. Um, I, I tend to favor younger players. Um, I, I'll, I'll certainly start a younger player if they're right around the same overall. You know, I, I like to favor speed. I like speed a lot. You'll see here I kind of go through and... I'm really interested in who's going to stay and who's going to be better. I like speed a lot, you know, and at the cornerback position, I think on the back end, it's important. I think speed's important at every position on the field. I really, really like to have speed on my edge rush. Um, all of my linebackers, doesn't matter if they're rushing or if they're dropping in coverage or if they're, a, you know, a run stopper role. I want them to have that speed. So that's kind of what I'm looking for here in the depth chart. Um... Moving forward, you know, we may move some people around. Like I said, we may we may we may throw a strong safety in at the middle linebacker spot just to have some more speed in our three four sets. I really like the three four set in this game. I, you'll see that a lot of our defenses. I'm, I'm going to run a lot of the same type of defenses, and then we adjust out of those defenses. That that's really where I'm comfortable. Um, but the offense is bad so we're gonna struggle and it's gonna it's gonna hurt you know uh it's gonna hurt um hopefully we can win a few games maybe have a few upsets get a little bit of prestige and show people that we deserve a shot you know give us a shot give us a shot at one of these small teams and uh these small schools and let's see what we can do with them you know give me a small contract similar to this one small kind of prove it deal and uh and see what we can do with it. You know, this is uh, another reason why I took Nevada. Some of the other schools for the defensive coordinator position, they were they were not as, uh, the contract was longer. 
they wanted to give me two, three, four years at a defensive coordinator spot. And I didn't want to commit to something that deep, you know. Um, I wanted to do the one year, see what I could do with one year, and see where I get after that one year. How far am I going to get, you know? So, so that's really the challenge laid in front of us. Um, I did already spend one point in my head coach or in my coaching tree, but I might, I might get rid of that. I might get rid of that point and see if I can reset it and just leave it blank. Just because uh, some of the stuff that I've read, some of the forums that I've read, have talked about how you know if you want it to be more realistic, you want to. Uh, you want to uh you, you don't want to do that you don't want to use those just leave it blank they're like anything that gives you the edge like that you don't want to do that um but yeah like i was saying earlier if anybody has any suggestions for realism i, I love a realism factor i like a lot of things um i'm always looking to make the game more realistic more real to life and that's with pretty much every game that i play so you know if it turns out that we don't need to be scouting that we let the CPU do all the scouting. Uh, I'm fine with that. You know, I'm fine with not scouting. If if it turns out that we're not going to uh, use any of those points in our head coaching tree, hey, I'm fine with that too. You know, we don't have to do that. Um, so yeah, just let me know. Yeah, drop a comment below. Let me know what you're thinking or what you've maybe done in some of your rebuilds in the past. Um, it 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 certainly looks like this is set up to be a Nevada dynasty. Um, and I wouldn't be opposed to staying at Nevada if I could, if I could, you know, snipe that head coaching role. But um, I think this is more about the journey of the head coach, uh, us as a coach, and the challenges that we can face. So, like I said, I'm not opposed to moving elsewhere. If if we find a good school with a good fit, um, I, I'd like to I'd like to try. I'd like to try to see what we can do with a different outfit. I think that would be really fun. And if we do stay with Nevada, say we do get that head coaching role, maybe we sign a small contract. And if we can get, you know, uh, a conference and maybe a bowl win, uh, um, maybe we enter the head coaching carousel and see what we can do from there, you know? Um, everything's open. Everything's open. All the possibilities are there. Um, and. You know, if this series does well and I'm enjoying doing it, um, I, I'm more than open at doing different types of rebuilds, uh, taking on different challenges. I think it would all be fun. I'm really enjoying the mechanics and the gameplay of NCAA. Um, it's so crazy that a game that's so old can still be, you know, so relevant and so much fun. So. So yeah, let me know what you guys are thinking. We're kind of winding down here. You know, we went through preseason. You saw us. We redshirted. We took a look at the depth chart. You know, we set up our scouting board. This is week one. We're going to put some points and some scouts here and just kind of go from there. So you're going to see what we're dealing with here. Going up against UCLA. And this is going to be tough. So, uh, you know, you kind of saw what the overalls there. You know what the challenge is ahead of us. You know what we have and what they have. I'm going to get off, guys. You uh, let me know how you enjoy it. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to be in the, studio. the actual I'm game. Dave. I'm going to let you guys you just hop in and enjoy it. And let me know what you think. And uh, we'll see you when the game is over. Nissan. Innovation that excites. And Alex head down to the coin toss. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Let's it fly. They'll bring him down at the 39-yard line. You like the faith he has in his receiver to just put the ball up and let him go get it. From their own 39-yard line, it's first down. They'll go Brown. 
and he's tackled at the 37-yard line. Two-yard loss, their own 37-yard line. It's second down. Scrambling around, and they got him. It's a big-time effort sack by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have any... He throws, and it's incomplete. Allen was the intended receiver on that pass, so they couldn't pick up the long yardage, and now they'll have to punt. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. So the referee is going to take a look at several angles. Now, remember, he's seeing the same thing we are, and he needs indisputable video evidence to overturn the call. After review the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So the call on the field will be reversed. From the 47-yard line, first down. Now he tries to buy some time. They'll make the sack. That brings up second and 13. Scrambling. He's tackled right around midfield. Third and 13 coming up. Ball on the 50. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. He makes his way to about the 38. They pick up some good yardage, but fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. And down he goes at the 29 yard line. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. And this. He scrambled. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. He's taken down around the 12-yard line. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs is pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. He's on the run, and he can't get away from the pressure. That's a loss of that will make it second and We're at the 12th play of the drive. They'll work the left side. Nice run there as they work the outside. That brings up third and ten. And this is the 13th play of this drive. He rifles it. Last drive resulted in a field goal, and the offense will come back out looking to do one better. UCLA has a three-point lead. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. From the four five yard line, it's first down. Side and there's nothing going there. Loss of three yards. From the 48 yard line, second down. Makes the handoff, defense coming, dives, and he's down. So the quarterback scrambles for about two yards on the play. Third 
down, and they need to get it down to the 35. UCLA is up a field goal. Under pressure. Quick strike to the receiver. And they make the stop at about the 43-yard line. Gain of three yards. That makes it fourth and eight. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. He delivers, and it's going the other way. And he's level at the 35. And that was just an outstanding pick. Great play by the defender to high point the ball, but the quarterback wasn't in rhythm on the throw. hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. He's going to try and scramble, and they got him. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real drive killers. So the sack makes this a second and long. Slings it. And they push him out at the 41. Hand off to the right. Nice run, and he's brought down. Up by three. Throws it out right to the running back. He's pushed out of bounds at the 29. Throws right, makes the catch and gets out of bounds. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the eleven. play of this drive. UCLA holds a field goal lead. Touchdown, Bruins! Nice run and a score by the halfback. Anytime you're near the goal line. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field and he led a great drive last time out. The seven yard line. That makes it second and ten. They line up at the seven. It's second down. Throws it in a hurry. The fifty. Brought down around the 34-yard line. And down he goes at the 16-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. It's first and ten. Ball on the 16-yard line. Quick 
strike and he drops it. Number nine, he intended to see the play. That makes it second and ten. From the 16-yard line, third down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He's tackled around the six-yard line. Stop here by the defense. I know we're defense looks like they're in midseason form. We're about set to start things up again. Three down, three down. 34 is the mic. 34 is the mic. Dog four. Six, 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 six. And he's taken down around the 43 yard line. Kirk, he's really got a lot of confidence in his receivers. Yeah, I think he does, but in this case, I think he just threw it up for grabs. He thinks his receiver can make the catch no matter how many guys are hanging on his back. First and ten, ball on the 43. And he's tackled around the 40-yard line. This guy's out of the stance so quickly that he's really a nightmare to try to block, as they found out right here on this play. He's scrambling, decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. There's a fumble, scooped up by the defense. He's taken down at the 43, so this could be the opportunity they were looking for. Yeah, this will be a big possession by both teams. The defense now needs to step up and hold their ground. They do not want to let this lead slip away. Offense couldn't hang on to the ball last time around. Let's see what happens here. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. And he's immediately tackled. Here's the halfback on the screen. They're stopped for a five-yard loss. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to try that play. Kill, kill, kill! stop around the 23 yard line. Nevada is going to have to use their second time out of the half. I think it was a great play call and it was very well executed. Any call. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on the 23 yard line. Jones takes it left. He's knocked out of bounds around the 29 yard line. Don't go anywhere folks. It looks like we might have a pretty good game on our hands after all. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Second and 13. Ball on their own 31. Out of bounds, right around the 32 yard line. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He airs it out. Oh, 
Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. And that will make it fourth down. The defense held their ground on that play. That makes it fourth and 12. Last time out, the offense wasn't able to convert on fourth down. Nothing can impact an offense more negatively than being stopped on a series of downs. And that's what happened to this offense the last time they were out. It's not just the quarterback's job to try to get this offense going. I think it starts up front. The veteran offensive line, see what kind of leadership they have to try to change this thing around. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Tries to buy some time. Tackle made right around the 26 yard line. That'll make it 31. Fires it out. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. So the defense will hold them as they go three and out. Picture perfect defense on that drive. That'll, That'll bring, bring up fourth and five. five. Every single time. And the defense made a big stop on fourth down the last time this offense was out there. That stop gave this defense some momentum last time out. It'll be interesting to see if they can keep that intensity on this drive. Takes the ball inside. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. That makes it second and eight. From their own 30-yard line. Second down. UCLA has a three-point lead. And he throws it away. We've got third and eight. Ball on the 30-yard line. Check 99. Check 99. Go. Quick out to his receiver. And he hits him hard at the 38. Defense. Concentration laps right there. The coaches will be giving them an earful for it, too. UCLA is up a field goal. Watch down, and he's going to get sacked. From the 47-yard line, second down. Throws this one out to the right. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. He'll get the call again. He makes his way to about the 22. They go with a run, and that'll be... From the 22-yard line, second down, UCLA is up a field goal. Orange two, orange three, orange three, kill, 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 number three, go! Makes the grab and he's got the first. They'll bring him down around the 12-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. And that's it for quarter number three. Folks, we got a great game on our hands. The Bruins with a three-point lead from the 12-yard line. It's first down. He's tackled around the 13-yard line. That'll bring up second and 11. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Tries to buy some time. Heading for the corner. Steps out of bounds. Around the 10-yard line. Oh, 
Here's play number 10 on the drive. He guns it to the left. So the offense will come out onto the field to take over once again. They got three points on their last drive, but with this kind of field position, they should be looking to get the ball into the end zone. And they got him for a loss. Loss is four on the play. That makes it second and 14. From the 34-yard line, second down. UCLA is up by six. Passes left, gets it out to the halfback. And they make the stop right around the 34. The tackle at the 34-yard line. Third down. Throws in a hurry. Fires quickly, and they've got it. Touchdown. Excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. One of the things a quarterback's looking for before the ball is snapped on post route is to see if he has one safety in the middle of the field. Because with one safety, you can use your eyes to move that safety and then throw back the other way. And he's in for two. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. Here comes the offense again. They'll try to make it two touchdowns and two possessions. And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. They'll knock him down for a loss. Well, the defensive line got such a good push up front that there was no one on the offense to account for the linebacker. And he got through almost untouched. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. Five wide. Under heavy pressure. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Gives it to the back. Tackle made at the 44. That'll bring up fourth and 13. And the defense made a big stop on fourth down the last time this offense was out there. Hey, remember, you don't have to go for it on fourth down. The last time you had the football, you went for it on fourth down, and you didn't convert it. Just think about this. If you move the ball into your opponent's territory and you want to take a chance and it makes sense to go for it on fourth down, I understand that and I get it. But when you're in your own territory and it's fourth down and five or longer, just considering a punt would make me so happy. Brought down at the 49-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That'll make it 35. From the 49-yard line, it's third down. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Go four, three, nine. Three, nine. Takes it and he's tackled short. Nevada will take their first time out of the half. Good, solid defense there to force him into That makes it fourth and eight. And the ball game's over. And our final score in this one, 21-7, Bruin. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.
Okay, guys. Game one in the books. Uh, we take... We, we go into UCLA and we get whooped, you know. I thought we were in that game a little bit. There was a few calls that I thought could have went one way or another. But really, we had some takeaways. I thought the defense played really well. Holding a team that that's, that's that much better to us to 21 points, I, I think that's a win. 100% in my book. Um, let me know what you guys are thinking. Let me know what you thought about the game, where we could improve um, the offense. We knew that they were going to hurt us. We knew that they were, and man, did they hurt us, right? They just didn't do anything to help us. Um, defense played well. You know, we had a lot of sacks. We had some takeaways. We had a fumble. We had the the pick. I thought we played really well, you know. Uh, in man coverage, we got burned a lot, so we got to be careful about that. And then, you know, in that mid-range with the zones, we got burned a lot. So, yeah, it, it, it is what it is, guys. Uh, we got a good game coming up next. And uh, I hope you guys don't miss it. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for being here. Hit the like button for me, please. Drop a sub. Let me know what you're thinking about the series so far. And we will see you guys next time.